no no on the range where Rob does reviews all day where seldom is heard a discouraging turd Plop. and Rob does a review on a gnome inflatable everybody, Rob here with a new inflatable review for you today. So what I have here is the, let's see if we can get a good look at it. It is the Airblown, of course, Gnome House Scene. So this one comes from, you can see THD, Home Depot. Um, and it's an online only um, inflatable. So it does not come in a box, say like, that oh, you can't see it very well because of the glare like the child comes in just comes in this plain brown box um this one was not on my radar at all until i actually saw it saw it on home depot's website and i don't know i just i really like the detail on it um i'm not into gnomes or anything like that um i don't roll with the gnomies but I don't know. I just like the detail on it. I thought it was something that looks really cool and it's something different. Um, with my displays, I always try to add different things each year. Each year. Um, you know, not the same old stuff. So I definitely don't have anything like this one at all. So I thought we would, I would purchase it and do a review on it and add it to the display this year. So yeah, I'm kind of anxious to see it because I've only seen it online. So again, it comes in the big brown box. Well, not super big, but big enough. I've already kind of sliced it open, but haven't really looked inside yet. So you got the instructions. You got one, two, three, four stakes, plus your base fan, stakes, and then your tethers. And then you have the inflatable. Let's pull this out. Okay, and one thing I'm curious about is checking out the fan. I'm going to predict a YF80. That seems to be the go-to fan for Jimmy this year. Just about everything has been a YF80 with the exception of the YEF 60 that came in the Jack Skellington face, which was underpowered. I don't know why they did that. Um, but the rest have pretty much been all 80s. So, all right, I'm going to open this up real quick. And then we'll take a look. Okay, that was actually really easy to get to. Sometimes the inflatables are kind of the fans for the inflatables are hard to get to, but this one was really easy. But yeah, YEF 80. So, like I said, I think that is Jimmy's go to fan this year, which is fine. It's actually. A suitable fan for most inflatables. It will pretty much inflate most of them pretty tight. Um, hold on, let me zip this up. Okay, okay. So that's all inflated. Um, it's also got the foldable legs, which I've seen a lot of those on 2021 inflatables, so that's nice as well. Um, so, yeah, next thing we need to do is to get it all inflated.
so here it is so i like this one this is really nice it has a lot going on here there's a lot of different colors uh, of course you got the top of the gnome house which is basically a christmas tree with snow on it and you've got these nice you know bigger well they're really small you know regular incandescent lights inside but they've got these coverings over them to make them look bigger which you know they're nice so you got one two three kind of four wraparounds on that then you have the actual house which this is just um kind of stitched the window is actually stitched into the actual inflatable um you've got the door which is stitched in as well which i like kind of like the wood patterning on this one you have the wreath doorknob you know you got the bits of snow all around the tree and the gnome and then of course you have the gnome his red hat his face with no eyes beard he's holding a present and his outfit <clears throat> and then on this side you have a little mailbox with a present sticking out of it and it's resting on a branch so yeah it has a lot of nice little details in it as far as tie downs go you got one here and then you have another on the other side right here and then I'm looking to see if there's any on the base and it does not appear to have any on the base which is interesting I'm kind of surprised it does not so you would just take the base fan down so yeah that is this inflatable during the day as far as height wise it's a good it didn't really say on the box but I think it's seven or eight feet tall I'm gonna guess it is eight feet tall it's a decent height not too tall not too short so yeah let's look at this in the dark okay so here he is with the lights dimmed or here it is the top of the house looks really really good I really like that I forgot to mention it also has up here like a little log for the chimney um, the house itself lights up pretty well the bottom snow area does not light up very well but that's okay and then the gnome himself lights up pretty well I would say the top of him lights up better than say the bottom of him the bottom doesn't light very well at all as far as how many lights it has from what I can tell there's one inside the gnome there's one up there another one so two three four there's about five total um c7 bulbs in this so i checked the height it actually is eight feet tall so my guess was correct on that and this is sold at home depot online only exclusive and it is 129 dollars. so we're gonna do a rob rating so for value we're gonna give this one we're gonna get straight to it we're gonna give it a seven out of ten um, I really like this inflatable. Like I said, it is different. Um, it's very festive. It's got lots of different colors going on. You're getting a solid fan. It's lit up pretty well. So we're gonna give it a seven out of 10. Design, so now this is where this really shines because this is different. I really like the design on this one. I'm gonna do it eight out of 10. And then wow factor, I, I do think it's going to get attention. I don't think it's going to get as much uh, attention as something that's, say, licensed. Um, but it's still going to get attention. So we're going to say a 7 out of 10 on wow factor. So that brings this to a 22 out of 30. And you can look up here on the Rob rating scale to see where that falls. But yeah, I recommend this one. If you're looking for something that's different, something that um, has a lot of Christmas theming going on with the presents and the wreath and the lights this is the inflatable for you at 129 dollars it's not too bad i think a better price point would have been maybe right at the 99 dollars 109 tops so could have been a little bit better on the value scale but overall not too bad all right guys 
thanks for tuning in once again and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one take care